FIFA, FIFA Women's Elite League coming to you a special broadcast on women on Mother's Day. And I wish all mothers in Uganda a blessed day and what a surprise we have for you. Great game of football coming up. These two teams won yesterday both on three points and each one of them with a chance to progress to the next round. But I have no more authority to talk about women's football. Yet I have two guys down at the Fatican Concert in Nigeria and those are Lawrence Buanika and of course the man himself Shafiq Motebi Owabachara. He's a coach and everything. Encyclopedia of sorts. Lawrence Buanika. Thank you so much, John Burns. It's yet the second game of the day uh, between World Giants, Queens, and of course playing against Kings of Kings. Uh, both teams are playing in their second game. Luero won yesterday 3 2 against a team by the names of Dynamic Jeza, and again, Kings of Kings also beat Asubo Gafo Ladies by a go to nail. Today it's a crocker between the two sides. Uh, to say side that, of course, will go to either will it be Luero getting six points or will it be, will it be uh, Kings of Kings, of course, going to. King, rather uh, six points. Lawrence Wanik and of course uh, my comrade uh, Shafiq Mutevi uh, to give a digest ahead of this uh, sweet uh, tie. Shafiq, uh, Kings of Kings, um, yes. Without the Owabachala tag, please complete his name. Owabachala tag. Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> and remind yeah, him for me. Uh, uh, no, uh, yeah. There was a time eh, he was uh, commentating a live game from uh, the St. Mary's Stadium. Kitende. It was between El Merica and I think Vipers. And all of it, he was uh, he had that tagline that uh, Vipers will lead that Hail Mary. I didn't know he's so Catholic on this Sunday. Welcome <laughs> him for me for this second game of the day. <laughs> oh, okay, Shafiq uh, Kings of Kings playing against Lower Giants. Of course, both teams having a win yesterday. And of course, it's yet another day. Can I call it a final in Group A? Mm, it's not yet a final, although it could be a final for both teams which are, are playing uh, this afternoon here at Fat Technical Center and Jero. Uh, because after a one all draw uh, between uh, Gafford and uh, Dynamic, uh, means it is either Luelo or King of Kings uh, to make six points uh, in Group A. Uh, so it is either way, uh, because uh, if any team winning today, uh, meaning they will just qualify to the quarter final. So it is uh, a big game for each team. And uh, according to what they displayed yesterday, uh, you, you, you could think uh, which team could, uh, of course, get, get, end up with uh, the all three points uh, because uh, Luel came back uh, from two goals down uh, to win 3-2, uh, meaning they have uh, a better chance against a King of Kings we, uh, who created just uh, almost uh, one or two chances in yesterday's game against uh, Subo Gafford. And uh, of course, Luelo coming up and creating almost uh, uh, five chances in the game, and uh, they scored three uh, to make uh, the game 3-2. Uh, so you could think uh, Luelo has uh, a better chance uh, because uh, they have uh, that uh, the coach who, is, who has experience, who has been in women football for so long, uh, the coach who, who raised Amina Nawabi uh, through Ka Kaindu, SS in Niluero. So uh, he has experience and you could think maybe uh, he has uh, the best opportunity of, of the game. Of course, John Barnes, that is from the coach Shafiq Mutebi. Of course, the teams are out of the dressing rooms and they're lining up in the stadium. And even as from now, will be getting the, uh, that kick start whistle from the referee, Anakoi. Back they to you. No, 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 Lawrence, Lawrence, before you leave. Before you leave, can you help and task for me, Shafiq, on whether these girls are, 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 are a void to, to play good football so that they earn chances of representing Uganda at various tournaments? Because we saw the under-17 girls last year, before COVID, putting up splendid performances. I know these girls influenced by that, really. Just task um, Shafiq for me in a minute before we go to Peter Tai. And by the way, let me tell you, Lawrence, Peter Tai is one man I've seen for a couple of years, but his passion never dies. He's preparing for the comment of this game, but it's like as if... He's a rookie journalist. He's paying attention to every, every detail to ensure that Ugandans get quality from him. Peter Otai, I thank you very much. Passion and integrity will not be replaced. Lawrence, in a minute, please. Uh, uh, Shafiq, in a minute, of course, uh, the influence of COVID-19, these mm -hmm. ladies. It's a woman uh, for five men, let uh, What's your take on this? Are, are they going to play, display a very good football, as we've seen yesterday, whereby Luero managed to win, and of course, Kings of Kings playing that street flowing football like a team coming from Fort Porter. Yeah, as I said uh, before the first game, uh, that of course the level of fitness are, are, are somehow low. 
and uh, playing these young girls uh, yesterday and, and, and today, I mean, they have uh, no time to rest. And I, I think uh, at, as the, the games go by, I would see them uh, at least uh, slowing the pace and you, you won't see them running as they used to run in the first game. Uh, so I think uh, COVID-19, of course, has, has an effect. And not only girls, uh, because we, we, we even see in, in the men's football, uh, the fitness level are yeah, a bit down and they just went on uh, increasing uh, day by day as they kept on playing. Of course, John Burns, that is from the Mr. Hail Mary. Coach Shafiq <laughs> Mutebi, <laughs> see you at halftime. Thank you very much, Lawrence. I wish you, I wish you the best of watching. Eh? And we shall get to you back at halftime, Ugandans. Please join the conversation on our various social media platforms and you will enjoy your football. Pirota is getting ready, but before he does, I remind Ugandans that it's the FUFA Women Elite League. It's the big league version of the women's football. That is how far the strides that FUFA has taken to ensure that every aspect of football in Uganda actually gets the due reward. I thank the production team down at the Technical Center. I thank FUFA, I thank UBC for ensuring that football is live in the comfort of people, people's living rooms. And of course on their phones, wherever they may be, if you're in a taxi, if you're in a shop selling and it's a Sunday, you're bound by duty, don't mind. Just get onto your phone, look for our social media platforms, Facebook and uh, YouTube. And of course the FUFA platforms are as well open for this game. Pirota is getting ready and let me hand you over to him, a man who has been as religious to this sport, of, to, to sport in Uganda as he was 10 years ago or 15 years ago when he was joining the trade. If any of you Ugandans can see your tie when he's preparing for a game of football, to commentate it, you will understand that he pays so much attention to detail. He arrived at 7 a.m. for a game that kicks off at 9 and he's ever eloquent. Pirotai! Thank you very much, John Ban Sentamu, and welcoming you to this match, Kings of Kings and Luero. The battle is actually here. Luero managed to come from behind, uh, two down, uh, to beat, uh, that is, uh, uh, dynamic by three goals to two. Lady of the moment, Achandi Teddy, just the number nine for Luero, is the lady you need to look out for in that game. She's a very, very good striker. She's actually the meaning of a striker. On the other side will be a battle. We wait to see whether there will be a connection between Sharon Kanyiginya together with Katusime, see if they can actually combine to get a result from today's game. The battle will be beginning very soon. It's actually Aisiga Rogers up against Lugolobi Edward. And who will be the tactical master in today's game? We are coming to you live on UBC TV. And the game is actually getting underway very, very shortly. Just waiting for the referee, Madame Aikoru, to actually get us underway here tonight. Well, this will be our second game of uh, the moment. Just reminding you that uh, a while ago we did see Dynamic lose, uh, sorry, picking up a draw in a game that ended 1 1. And uh, Ayesiga Rogers knows the meaning of today's game. All the teams already on three points. King of Kings beating their rivals by one goal to zero. And of course, on the other side, Luero going on to beat Dynamic by three goals to two. We're just seconds away from uh, the start of the game. Just one second away, rather. Half, just a few seconds to the start of this, really. The game will be beginning at exactly 1 p.m. And that is Lugolobi Edward. Was very much disappointed when his side fell down 2-0 at halftime. And then he got excited. When his side went on to score the three in the second half there. Just waiting for the center referee right now. Just a few, few seconds. Game kick is at exactly 1 p.m. It's exactly 1 p.m. So we are definitely off here today. It is uh, King of Kings. All the way from the oil city up against Luero. The most interesting thing is that the two sides already on three points, so they will be giving us a very good show here. Oh, rather midday, not one. <laughs> rather about that. Sorry about that. Uh, the game beginning at midday. No problem with my clock in here. And thank you, John Bansintam, who came rushing in.
Remind me about the time, really. It's a midday clash. Sorry about that again. Now here comes a chance now for the Luero Best side as they continue to drive up. It's cleared away perfectly by Jennifer. Throw brought in by Kristin. Collected there by Achandi Teidi. It's a big ball forward here. Slowly by slowly, it's more pressing through. And that's the dangerous ready. That is Sharon Kanyeginya. Looks like Ayukuru has taken a kick to the legs and uh, hope she'll be available to continue. She's uh, that defender who puts everything on the table. Ayukuru. We are free kick now to Luero. And I'll be looking to deliver this ball for standing on this will be a Chandi Teddy. Looks like a Chandi Teddy will be letting it go. And uh, Nakagua Flores could be the one to sweep this ball forward. The two Nakagua and a Chandi are the ones to make sure that maybe something comes out from today's game. Florence Nakagua to deliver. It's a very long ball there from Florence. Inside the D. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, dear. Aguirre loses possession. It's cleared away. Will be another throw in here to Luero. Coming up down, looking to see what comes up from this corner here to Luero. Ball brought in quickly. Luero still looking for possession. Driving up now, stolen away perfectly there by Nakagua. Dropped in through, straight to the goalkeeper. Could be going out for another corner. Yeah, she fails to keep that ball on play. Karunji Diana. Corner brought through, brushed away. <laughs> away by Aikoru. Just failed to keep the ball on play finally. Just goes for a throw here. Good pressure coming up from uh, Sharon. Can you give The pressure is up here. The midfield, the one two is not very bad, but finally, Borja Sisley glides away for a throw in here to Luero. going through and uh, the referee has ordered a free kick should be a free kick now Rosa Manire trying to drop this one very quickly as a miscue 
could be costly. Straight away to the arms of the goalkeeper on the far side, Shaida Namwanje. Considered two against Dynamic very, very early. Collected at the midfield level, Lydia Namialo scored in that game against uh, Dynamic. Hadija Babirie. Oh, there's a referee award and good tackle, you have to admit, from Rosa Manire. Defending perfectly well, and she wins the throw in here to the King of Kings here. You could be wondering why they're called King of Kings and yet they're ladies, but uh, they are the younger side of uh, the Toro Queens. Fortunately for Rose Amanire just failing to throw, so it's a foul throw. And uh, it looks like Namugenyi Christine shall be the one to throw this ball now. Namugenyi, Teddy, Namugenyi again, driving that ball through to the box line. And finally gotten away. Nasuna, nice play here. Look at how they play the game here, the King of Kings. That ball just easily rolls away. And that will be a throw in now to King of Kings. Just love the way they play the ball, pass the ball, pass the ball. Sharon. Sharon again, doing very well here. Drives that ball through. Straight to the arms of the goalkeeper, Saida. So basically, the King of Kings have uh, been the much active side compared to the two. Away by Saida. Aikoru on the chest. That's a foul, rather. It was a Chandi Teddy fouling. Just the number nine. Chandi. It's called the third goal again. It's a dynamic. A game that ended 3 2. That to fight to come from behind. Luero. Oh, now here comes the Miss Q. Babiri Hadija. Looking for a chance away. Unfortunately for Nakagawa Florence, she's not there, but no, the game is still on. Could be another chance, a miscue. Sandra Ndagire just failing to score. Sandra Ndagire also did score against uh, Dynamics. So basically it was Nakagawa Flores, Achandi and Ndagire. Those are the three that actually fought for Luero to come back to win that game. Kahevi. Sharon. Throw it. Ball still Dilly Dal is around the defense here. As both sides are looking to open up and pick up the pieces on this uh, Mother's Day. Luero up against uh, King of Kings. The goalkeeper Karunji Diana still having that plaster around her chin. They picked that up yesterday. I thought maybe by today it should have been okay. Well, Namugenyu will be the one to throw this ball now here for Luero. Namugenyi. The referee says uh, there's a bit of a, a push again there from uh, Achandi Teddy. So the free kick shall be awarded. to the wing side, chest away by Sharon now. And Yeginia Sharon 
Beats one, lays that ball through, collected yet again. Looking for the reverse pass, Sharon, but it was slightly very heavy and uh, goes away for a goal kick now to Luero. It's about uh, 10 to 11 minutes already played here. It will be the evergreen captain, Fiona Aikoru, to go long here. Well, they just can't keep the ball on play in Dagira Sandra. But she retrieves the ball yet again. Just number two, Sandra. Miss Q. Another goal kick to Luero. Sylvia Kalachaki fighting onto the ball. This is uh, Katusime Evelyn. Evelyn at the midfield. Penina going to the ground now, stolen away perfectly at the midfield. The pass was slightly very poor. They tried to open up on a Chandi. Cleared away by Oliver. Kept on play here. This is in Dagire. So I'm wondering why the referee did blow the whistle there. It will be a foul now to Luero yet again. I think it's Sharon who was uh, pen uh, penalized on that. Kanyiginya. Aikoru sends the ball long. Straight away to the goalkeeper there, Karunji. Both sides actually still locked on uh, three points each. So whoever does win today's game will be qualifying for the quarterfinals. Rosa Manire. Fight on Sylvia. Unfortunately, our Chucky Sylvia, whom they love to call C. Fails to keep that ball on play. It goes out for a goal kick. That's the young Hadija Babiri on your screen a while ago. Just a number 16 for Luero. Okay for Regina. Retuso. Katusime. Nice play there from the captain. Just throws a body there, Aikoru Fiona, but uh, goes away for a corner. Well, there was the run coming up there from uh, Katusime Evelyn, and again, Aikoru doing perfectly well. Look away. Penina. It's a poor header yet again. He's not getting that. So we'll be going out for a throw. Right, a goal kick in particular. The pressure. Rose Amanire. Well, one thing I've realized from uh, the King of Kings is they have a lot of pace. They pass the ball well. They're very good at passing the ball and utilize a lot of speed whenever they are attacking. So their traditions are perfect. Just look at how they pass that ball. Stolen away by Nakagua. Rivina, another pass there. Driving through. Now here comes Amanire Rose to try and keep that ball on play. Rose Amanire. There's a call for the handball. Referee says no. Throw in. But it will be a throw to Luero. This is good play 
driven away by Ayikoru. It's collected yet again by Nakagwa. Nakagwa. Ndagire. Swept away by Namialo Lidia. At the midfield level. Repossessed here by Penina. On the wing side it's Sharon, but uh, she's offside. Ikoru could have taken a little bit of a knock there off the elbow of Sharon Kanyiginya. The referee trying to call on to the doctors here because currently you realize that Fiona Ikoru does not look very comfortable. Took a slight knock. From this angle, you can see the hand there on the chin of Aikoru. Sinless of uh, Achandi Teddy in this match. She's been handled perfectly well by the defense of uh, Kahebi and Katusabe. I don't think you need to get a little bit scared of uh, is a good strike, and Achandi is that good striker. Rumor that uh, there were very many scouts from the Super League team that were watching the game where they played against uh, Dynamic, where they won by three goals, 2-2. Two, two. And uh, they were all very much impressed with the performance of Achandi. But now, the instructions coming from the coach. But Aikoru limping away. Tambula shall be the one responsible for this now because Aikoru is out. So Tambula gets it underway. But, uh, Sharon was there. You should be very careful. You can actually get a yellow card for that. Interfering with uh, the play. Away by Tambula. Controlled there by Teddy. Long ball by Regina Luetuzo. Cleared away from the mix by Penina. Is uh, Cherezi Penina gives that ball away for a throw in. It's going to be Christina Mugenyi. And a slight push again from Ayikoru. Achandi. And uh, the referee warning Achandi. Penina, Achandi, Bavili, Teddy, Achandi, it again trying to open up and she beats two. Teddy Achandi with a cross ball through but slightly poor. Ndagire trying to retrieve this one on the far side collected there by Sharon. Kanyikinya, throw to Luero. Is 19 minutes so far played. Teddy Achandi going down, no foul. Trying to fool the referee. Now here comes Oliver Kanyeginya. Trying to drop to the evergreen. Katusime Evelyn, but it was Amanire who was fighting for that ball. Well, Amanire coming from the right back position, gets herself in the midfield position. So basically, she's handling a lot of duties today. Away by Nakagwa. Ball intercepted yet again. Asuna. Look at the speed of uh, Katusime Evelyn. Just fell into keep hold of possession. So I like her energy in the game and her determination to try very much to keep that ball on play. Freaky kick. 
Well, the King of Kings get themselves a free kick in a very, very good territory. And uh, Kanyekino Sharon should be the one to go for long. Sharon for this one. She's warming up. Well, that is the current uh, situation of uh, her positioning. Sharon looking to deliver. She's trying to cook those guns of hers there. Trying to make sure that uh, she does deliver something very well. Sharon for the free kick. I think she'll be going to the left hand side of the goal. It's a curling ball, but straight to the goalkeeper. And uh, Saida Mwanje shielding that game very well. <laughs> was a very bad free kick really look at how it was curling very good tactic to swing that ball there swing perfectly well but straight to the arms of the keeper well keeper foul so it will be a free kick again to Luero energy from Amanire Rose and apologizes for that she's everywhere really totally everywhere Away by Fiona. Repossessed at the midfield. And now stolen away by Nakakwa. Are Nakagwa. Aikoru inside the box, but uh, a ball not receiving her perfect. At the midfield level, the King of Kings continue to deliver. And the goalkeeper called to the rescue, that is Karunji Diana. Just by Babi here, it's failing to keep the ball on play, which has begun quickly by Florence Kahebi. Good play there again from Katu Sime. On the King of Kings venturing Penina onto the wing side. Nasuna. Katu Sabe. Intercepted by Indagire. Looking for Teddy. Onto the wing side, Lydia Namialo driving forward. Dagide, will that be a corner? Yes, awarded. Corner kick here to Luero. The ball forward now, still in away from the legs of Teddy. Repossessed. Katusabe needs to pass that ball very quickly. It's collected well there. Sylvia. Katusime. Nasuna, Sharon, away from danger, not very, very away. The pressure is still on, onto the wing side. Rosa Manire with a lot of speed and pace, but she actually over pushes that. That goes away for a goal kick there, but you can see the excitement. She's enjoying her game today. Rosa Manire keeps that smile on the face, totally working very hard to. Make sure that uh, the King of Kings can actually progress to the next round. Away by Lutuso. Hey, hey. 
foul from Omanyere. Well, King of Kings actually a secondary school all, all the way from Fort Porto and uh, it's actually owned by the school itself. So that's another product of uh, school football. Trust me, like I said before, when uh, the Pan-African football schools tournament gets underway, schools like this will be really benefiting a lot, man. Sharon crosses first time. It's Kali. Oh, beauty of a goal. What a sweet goal from Sharon. Beautiful goal. Sharon there scores today with a good, good goal. And look at the celebration from Sharon. Well, I don't know whether she meant to go for that goal. I don't know whether she was crossing or something like that. But we have seen beautiful goals in this competition. Sharon Kanyiginya, a lady that scored 25 goals in the regionals in Chitara, does this, does that, and bam! That's a sweet goal. That's a sweet goal for a top striker. Maybe, maybe she was crossing. But maybe she was going for goal. You just cannot know, but that's a sweet goal. Beauty. Ah, that's a goal. That's a goal there. Well, we shall be seeing these later on in the analysis there. Uh, just reminds me of, uh, I think it was Judge Awalusimbi that scored a goal in Nambole against uh, Senegal. I need to remind my statistic on that, but it was something like that. If uh, For those who watched the game at Nambole, Judge Awalusimbi scored something similar like that there. But uh, also today, we did see another good goal like that this morning. Sharon Kanyiginya is the lady of the moment whose goal is separating the two sides and currently there's a problem here for Manire Rose. King of Kings leading by 1-0 and the excitement is down in Fort Porto right now. I'm very sure the parents of uh, Sharon are watching this and they'll be very proud of their daughter right now. Sharon doing extremely very well and her goal is the reason as why there is a separation here. Well, actually it was uh, Katusime Evelyn who went down and not Amanire Rose. Perfect play. Oh, that's a foul, that's a foul. Still a game that can be held up perfectly well. Karunji. Away by Aikuru. Good skills from Sharon. And then they foul. Driving ball from Aikuru. Trying to open up on Sandra Indagide. And, uh, they continue to defend perfectly well here. Katusabe Jennifer together with uh, Kobaibe Karo all defending. And the King of Kings remember managed to win their first game by 1-0. They scored in the first half, defended it gallantly until the end. Nasuna away. Nakagwa dropping ball forward. Could be a chance for Nakagwa again but the flag is up. Or rather the referee does blow her whistle. That's a free kick now to 
the king of kings of Fort Porto. It is Fort Porto up against Luero. And I'm very, very sure that uh, if the Pan-African football competition, schools competition gets underway, these teams will be meeting again. Especially for the secondary schools like uh, King of Kings. I'll be fighting very much. Ball is away to Karunji. Offside it is. It could be the lady Achandi Teddy got nothing. Away by Kahevi. At the midfield level. Cleared away by Lydia. Onto the wing side, Nagire. Holds a Rani and Nagire. Lays it through. Lydia to the rescue straight. But the goalkeeper, Karunji. Looking very, very comfortable there. By the way, she has not yet considered any goal in this group. Karunji Diana. Still keeping a clean sheet. I don't know if she'll be able to keep a clean sheet today. It's a very poor ball trying to open up on Teddy Achandi. Who has actually been a shadow of herself in this half. If you were to compare with... Uh, the first game she played again is uh, dynamic. Retuzo loses possession. And looking to open up on Sharon. Now Ruth Kanyinyizi puts that ball outside for a throw in. It's good defensive work there by Ruth Kanyinyizi. And King of Kings will be trying to See what they can do from this throw here. It's a miscue, a foul. Nagawa Florence, who's supposed to be striking, has to be drafted behind again to collect the ball and go forward. She's basically almost doing everything now. You need to be very scared of uh, Sharon because she scored from uh, such a distance in here. And I'm sure she'll try very much to go for another. Benina and Sharon discussing what they are discussing. I don't know, but uh, it could be a strategy on where to put the ball. This is Sharon. I will be trying to curl this ball. We have seen her curling those balls already. And uh, the tactic of uh, making that ball spin is what she'll be going again for here tonight. Here comes Sharon. Trying to measure the ball now, trying to get that angle. Her eyes are on goal here. It's long from Sharon. But this time it's disappointing out for a goal kick. Well, Sharon Kanyinyiji, uh, that is uh, Kanyinyinya. Scored 25 goals in the Kitara Women Regional League there. So she's not new to goals really. Her partnership together with Katusime really will be paying a lot because also for Katusime, scored 28 goals in the Women Regional League for a team called Omo. Aiko Rulong, just down by Nakagwa. Foul on Nakagwa. We are freaking now to. Luero. Luero, not new by the way for coming from behind because just only yesterday they had to come from two goals down to beat Dynamic. 3-2, so you have to admit that they are not new at coming from behind. I don't know if that will be the same thing today. Can they be the comeback queens? Well, not kings today, but they will be the comeback queens if they can. Luero Giant Queens FC. Their lead striker, Chandi Teddy, is standing on this as uh, Luetuzo Regina is also wanting this. And here comes a Chandi. Ooh, that was very close and uh, Karunji Nayana had to push that ball away for a corner. Well, she tested the goalkeeper there, Karunji. 
corner to Luero. Another corner to be delivered. A chance is in the box line. Corner brought through. Easily swept away by Jennifer Katusabe. Asuna gives it away. Collected by Indagide. Asuna doing well. Sharon driving through. Aikoru's in the way. Oh, this was the chance for Achandi. Look at that shot from Achandi. It was dropping in. Good height from the goalkeeper. Very, very good height. The goalkeeper actually not just. Trust me, that would be dipping in. How about that for volleyball? <laughs> it is called a set. <laughs> Oops. Namugen, you Christian. A chandi. Aikoru. It's collected well there by Namilo. Karunji. Oh, you have to admit that's actually some poor piece of defensive display from uh, Christy Namugeni a while ago. Can you see me, Evelyn? Doing very well, trying to beat the captain Ayukoru. Very good eyes on uh, Ayukoru, trying to deny Evelyn the chance of passing that ball away. No, Penina will be the one to go long here for the King of Kings. Christian away. Well, surprisingly, there's going to be a substitution here. And, uh, Luero will be making a quick sub that is very, very quick. And it will be Babidia coming out for Namuyomba. It looks like uh, for Babiria things have not gone away. Just can't continue playing. We have a slight injury there. As a miscue. Oh, Sharon could be beating them with pace, but Aikoru's there. Aikoru to the rescue. Throw into King of Kings. Foul throw. Also throws the game poorly. It's supposed to be an out and out, so it's basically a throw in for Luero because nobody tapped that ball, so it has to be rethrown in. Roth swept away. They're looking for the lady Namuyomba, and the chase is not very bad. Unfortunately, Ndagire now switching positions. From the right to the left. Namugeni. Stolen away there by Nakakwa. Goes for the low shot straight away to Karunji Diana, the goalkeeper for uh, King of Kings. By the way, Karunji Diana is a sister to pro line footballer, pro line defender Norman Atukonza. So basically, football flows in that family because the brother Nomana Tugonza is playing in the 
Uganda Big League for Pro Line. Now the sister is also playing in the second tier of women football as a goalkeeper. Foul on Sandra Ndagire. And Evelyn has just been warned by the referee, not again. Four minutes to half time. Aikuru away. It's a very poor tactic of clearing the ball there, so she's feeling the aftermath of that kick. Kawachaki Sylvia does redeem the ball in the midfield but loses. Matuzo collected here. Kagua chasing, Dagire chasing. Letuzo. Dagire. Oh, she just left her boot a little bit open, and that's a little bit risky. The referee will have a word with her, telling her no more. Or the next time you foul, you receive a yellow. Kanyiginya down. Dagire Sandra walks free. Well, she was actually responsible for the second goal or the equalizing goal for Luero against a dynamic. She actually scored the same kind of goal that Sharon scored today. Just a number two there. Oof. That's very dangerous play. Very, very dangerous play there. Seems to be very much okay to continue this game. We just have about three minutes of no more time to play for. The captain is getting out to receive more medical attention. <laughs> the artificial turf here a little bit soggy uh, due to the heavy downpour a few minutes ago in Ginger. Letuzo. Free kick here from uh, Sylvia on Letuzo. Ikoru to switch that ball very much long forward. Brush down. Letuzo timing. She drops it away, flicked in, collecting it perfectly well. And they get something. Now here comes Teddy Achandi. And the goalkeeper is there, the right place to hold it perfectly well. Karunji Diana. from Karunji. Aikuru. Tambula away. Good. Sh uh, that shoulder control, you have to admit. Sharon. She's offside. So seconds away from the first of Wiso. It's a very good ball through. They're looking for Teddy. Now collected very well now. Can they get something? No, they can't. The back actually works very hard. Lutuzo. Foul on Lutuzo. When Ava they lose the ball, King of Kings, they actually fall back in number. Or well, they're actually a unit. The King of Kings here. Referee adding just one minute of added time in here. Well, Teddy Achendi will be the one to go for this free kick. She's tried one before. She wants to try it yet again from distance. Achendi. Here comes Teddy Achendi. Tries to go long this time. Punched away for a corner. 
Good game reading there from the goalkeeper Karunji Diana. I hope she has not picked up an injury in that process, really. Or well, she looks as if she has. Could be a problem with the knee, so the doctor has to be called in to check that out. Now Fufa Technical Center down in Njeru. Just a few meters before you reach the Before we actually reach, reach the bridge, we'll do branch off. That's around uh, Nalbrori is around there. Well, the goalkeeper down, Karunji Diana. By the way, she did help the Toro Queens to gain promotion to the Super League last season as a second choice goalie. And right now, she's the first choice goalie here for the king of kings it's very good saving i'm well, just reminding you that uh, the king of kings is basically a feeder team to the toro queens it's a feeder team almost here comes the corner brought in by Teddy it's a very long one and uh, that goes away for a free kick but the referee Aikoru does not want to waste any more second after the one minute has actually gone on to pass and so far 45 minutes done 45 to play for the king of kings are the ones in the driving seat a win for them today guarantees them a place in the quarters and so far they are smiling very well and they are beaming with a lot of confidence it is a crisis meeting right now for the team from luero they have a lot to talk about and they have a lot to do in the next 45 minutes if they are to actually continue dominating in the elite league for now we go for the break after the break john ban sent with the analysis don't go away We've cut and reduced our MTN Momo withdrawal rates. Now you can withdraw mobile money at the lowest rate. You also get MTN Century Points when you deposit, send and withdraw MTN Mobile Money. Visit our Momo agents countrywide and withdraw mobile money at our reduced rate from 1st May 2021. Everywhere you go, MTN. Kapo, you seem to be in a hurry. Where are you going to? I'm going to pay URA a visit. But you can access URA online. Why pay a visit? To know more about the Kakasa Business Solutions, namely digital tracking solution, the voluntary disclosure program and electronic fiscal receipting, and invoicing solution, which have turned my business around. You know I need to be on top of my game to protect my empire. <laughs> yeah, if you know, you know. I too need to know what Kapo knows. Kakasa, be sure you are in charge of your business. Uganda Revenue Authority, developing Uganda together. Prosper with Airtel Money today. Become an Airtel Money agent. Apply or register today as an Airtel Money agent free of charge. Or call us on 0800-327-327 toll free. Submit your business documents to be verified by Airtel Uganda free of charge. Feedback will be communicated within a maximum of five working days. The Airtel team will be in touch with you for the next business steps still at no cost. Inquiries, applications or registrations and verification are all free of charge. To register or know more, call us today on 0800-327-327, toll free. Airtel, the smartphone network. Audio Jungle. 
Well, uh, Sharon can engineer goal separates the two teams at the Fofa Tekken Coast Center and Injeru. It's one uh, Kings of Kings and I'm certain my colleague Josh Falcon down in uh, Fortpoto City, you must be enjoying whatever you, you're watching this because it doesn't come any better. I know you guys down there follow your football religiously and actually love it. Not only following it, but love it and support it. And you are fans and supporters in that because there, there's a big difference between a fan and a supporter. Those are not my details. You will ask Hussein Ahmed, the PR award, the Federation, to explain to you those small details. But thanks, guys in Football City, for being a part of this. You're leading that game 1 0 over Luweo Giants women football club and it's very very important for you because as it stands you go on six points and thus qualify to the round of eight in this uh, female fufa women elite league i remind you Ghanans, it's the fufa women elite league studio down here at ubc we come to you live from the broadcast house in kampala but from the technical center in Injero, we've got a colleague of ours sorry colleagues of ours uh, lawrence buonica and of course the man himself shafiq motebi Owabachara. if you've just joined Owabachara is not literal in meaning Owabachara means a man who knows everything about women football and in fact lawrence please take it on uh, thank you john Burns. it's half time at the for technical center Njero, uh, kings of kings uh, from the beautiful city of Fort Porto, of course, I guess, uh, smiling faces coming in from that city right about now uh, because Kings of Kings are still leading uh, by a goal to nil. Uh, that beautiful goal uh, that came in from Sharon Kanginya in the first uh, 45 minutes. Yet again, uh, we are seeing some beautiful football. Uh, we gave you some recap about the team coming in from uh, Fort Porto. Uh, that is uh, a team, of course, that played in the FUFA women super league at uh, toro queens of course uh, they showed in a very good display uh, some weeks back and of course uh, this is the team yet that is coming in from port porto and of course they have been having a couple of friendly games uh, between uh, kings of kings a team called bunyaruguru and of course uh, a team by the names of toro queens they all play uh, that beautiful flair football yet again uh, shafiq mutevi Join, joins me on the podium uh, to have a digest of the first 45 minutes of this game whereby uh, kings of kings are trying to show that they want to become the first team to go to the quarterfinals leading a goal to nil shafiq of course you told me in the first uh, prior to this game that kings of kings want as much as possible uh, to kill off this game uh, by scoring in that early goal yet again see ya Sean Kanigina scoring in that beautiful goal. Someone would have said it would have been a cross, but of course, again, going into the back of the net. It's 1-0. Yeah, it is 1-0. Uh, you know, uh, um, this tournament is full of surprises since yesterday. Uh, Luelo winning dynamic, uh, then Gafford losing to King of Kings, and uh, Gafford scoring uh, th that early goal in the, in the first, uh, in the second stand, at the start of the second stance of the game, then conceding the equalizer in the 91st minute of the game. So it, uh, the tournament is full of surprises, and uh, King of Kings, of course, are uh, uh, keeping that position on the ball. They always have the ball. They always try to keep position. They always want to build from the back, uh, not creating so many chances. But the only chance they created. Uh, they used it uh, through uh, Sean Kanyiginya, but thanks goes to uh, Kabachaki Slivia, uh, who uh, th gave that splitting pass uh, through uh, Luwajan's defense uh, to find uh, Sean Kanyiginya, uh, who never did any mistake, uh, just to put uh, his, her side up front against uh, Luwajan Queens. Uh, so, so, so far, uh, the first 45 minutes, I would say uh, Toro Queens are a little bit organized uh, from their defense. Uh, they are compact. They, are, they try to uh, to fill those spaces when they lose the ball. Uh, you see almost uh, each and every player behind the ball because they know uh, they can uh, defend that goal as they, they, they did uh, last yesterday against Gafford Ladies and maybe earn those three points uh, to qualify for the quarterfinals or uh, maybe to become even the first team uh, qualified uh, for the quarterfinals this season. Uh, Shafiq, of course, we saw yesterday again Luero. It was at this very time that they were trailing by two goals to nil. When the player again is dynamic Geza. Can it be their tactic uh, to, of course, go to the halftime uh, trailing and, of course, coming back to look for those uh, two winning goals or three in this game? To me, it might look a bit harder because uh, Kings of Kings might come with a different style of play and, of course, a different a, a, a difference in the way they play. Because to me, a goal they scored yesterday wouldn't win the game. Mm. Yeah, uh, of course, um, I'm, I'm still asking my question 
uh, myself a question uh, whether Aluelo can come back in the second half of the game, uh, maybe to score two or maybe more than two uh, to win this game uh, because the way they played in the first half uh, of course uh, a bit dull uh, not going uh, forward and uh, one of their best players Teddy Achandi uh, not anywhere on the pitch uh, you know she seems isolated uh, up front and uh, that early substitution um, taking off Babiri Adija uh, you thought uh, she was a bit slow uh, taking the team forward and I think uh, Teddy Achandi needs to get those balls each and every time uh, because we know what uh, what she can do with the ball, we know where uh, she can take uh, this team, Royal Giant Queens, and I think they should use her uh, to, to if they want to, to to get a point or even uh, the three points against King of Kings. But as you said, uh, it may look a bit harder uh, because uh, the organisation in, in King of Kings defence, uh, I think it is the coach's strategy, um, the back four. Uh, the back four is always uh, compact. Uh, it is very hard to, to, to give that splitting pass through them. And I think when the, the, the ball is behind their back, the goalkeeper tries to, to, to come out of her box and at, at least play uh, play safe uh, for, his, for her team. So I think, uh, I, don't, I don't know whether Alwero can, can come out. Either they, they have to change the strategy, uh, the way they play, because yesterday they, they tried to play the, the football in the second half. So they, they have to come and try to put the ball down and possess the ball. Uh, maybe they uh, start creating spaces uh, in uh, King of Kings defence and finally they get that, that goal, one or two, and win the game. Uh, Shafiq Mutabi, I'm very impressed uh, with the play of the football. In today's game, of course, uh, Kings of Kings trying to possess the ball around, pass the ball around. How impressed are you? Yeah, I'm impressed um, because uh, before the start of the game, uh, I thought maybe the, 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 the speed may, may be a little bit low. Um, uh, since they played yesterday, or the 90 minutes, and you know you have you don't have that that enough time to rest, and they are still young, they still young girls, almost 15 to 18 years. Uh, but I think uh, they tried. They came maybe with a strategy yesterday against Gafford ladies because they knew they played they are, they were playing uh, uh, some uh, some experienced team in Leeds, and now they they know that they are playing almost uh, a team uh, on, their, on on the same level with uh, with the Royal Giants. So you expect them to to. to to keep on playing football as they, they did in the first in the first half because uh, keeping the ball uh, sometimes is is one of the tactics if you want to maybe to win the to win to win the game and I think it it has worked for them and uh, we have to just wait for the next 45 minutes uh, to see whether they will change the strategy but I think uh, we will still have an opportunity if they change the strategy also uh, to, to to build from the back as they did yesterday against uh, dynamic and maybe a uh, fine try to find uh, Teda Chandi who has been as isolated in the the first 45 minutes uh, so that they can be able to 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 get that goal uh, which uh, uh, will be, uh, bring them back into the game maybe score the second one uh, to earn them a three point but it's going to be hard uh, it is going to be very very hard for them uh, because they didn't create many chances uh, maybe from the set pieces they had and the goalkeeper did her best and uh, saved the king of kings uh, not to concede in the first turns of the game Okay, okay, back to you, John Burns, uh, the UBC Command Centre. It's you're going in, of course, for the second half. The team's out of the dressing rooms. We get you back hey, Lawrence, at full time. Uh, Lawrence, Lawrence, um, uh, I wanted to get Lawrence. Are you still online? Okay, in case Lawrence is gone, I'd like to remind you, Ghana, that whether you say Sharon's goal was chance or not, let me tell you one thing to win the lottery, you've got to buy the ticket. In football, you've got to keep shooting. And whatever she did was not chance. She intended whatever she did because she shot. I remind Ugandans watching, to win the lottery, you've got to buy the ticket. And Sharon bought the ticket, she shot, and she won the lottery, she scored. That is how it stands at halftime. Guys of Toro, sit, sorry, football city watching, please keep enjoying the football and remind Ugandans that we promise you sport and we shall deliver. It's the FUFA Women Elite League. It's the big league version. It's the second league, second division of our women's football in Uganda. The top two teams after four groups have been through the technical center will join the FIFA Women's League, of which Makeda University Ladies and East Rasoka Academy were relegated. So these guys are fighting for that. We'll wait to see whether Kings of Kings can join Toro in that FIFA Women's Super League. Let me wait for Peter Otai. He walks in, like I told you at the start, Roba Doba style. And be sure he's going to rock. Well, thank you very much, John Ban Sentamu. 
I don't know the actual meaning of that Robert Dover, but uh, thank you very much indeed for the analysis there. Second half will be getting underway very, very shortly. By the way, it's 1 p.m. sharp, Uganda time. I'm just waiting to see if we can be able to pick up uh, more good action from the game here today. A King of Kings leading this one by one goal to zero over Luero. And uh, second half is there. Luero have to do very, very much if they to come back in this. They have to actually... They have to work very hard if they are to come back in here. Well, I thought there would be maybe a substitution or anything. But it looks like there won't be any kind of substitutions in here. Second half will be getting underway down. Game still very much alive. Zero for Luero and one for the King of Kings down. I'd like to thank you very much for the time that you're spending with us down as we give you the game proper. Uh, still a very much open-ended game here. Well, the pressure continues to get its way through, so looking to see if uh, Luero can actually come back into this game slowly, but uh, defense is standing very tall here for the King of Kings. Will be collected now by Lydia. Driving through now slowly. That's a very good pass now to Sandra. Dagira Sandra, can she deliver this? Yes, she does. And that's a timely, timely clearance away. Pressure continues. Well, Kabachaki came out and Kabahuna came in. Well, that is the only substitution we are seeing so far. And uh, possibly there will be more possession skills here for the King of Kings. Looking for chance now, Sharon. Long ball forward now. The race is on. Good play. Rose holds a run. Straight away to the goalkeeper. Namwanje. So throw in now to Luero to be brought in by Ruth Kanyinyuzi. Ruth to throw, does well, float back into possession, looking to Florence. Takes a slight kick there. This time from Shamira Nasuna. She's a little apologetic on that kick, Nasuna, but uh, will be a free kick now to Luero. Freaky Kachandi Teddy will be the one to stand on this. Teddy Achandi to deliver. Abra! 
Teddy Achandi looking to go long for this. This is Teddy. What can she do? Tries to go long. She's dropping through, but over the bar for a goal kick. Now that won't be disturbing the goalkeeper, Karunji Diana. In whatever way it would be. Away by Kahevi. Making ball through, but uh, eludes everybody and goes out for a throw in. It was a chance that can actually be gotten by anybody. Katusime Evelyn trying very much to get that important goal today. It's not yet coming her way. It's a technical bench for Luero. Trying very much to see if they can pick up the pieces and get something off this game really for Luero. Away by Caro. Collected well here. Looking for Nakagua. Beats two, beats three. She tries to beat four but uh, it is gotten away but repossessed again. Teddy Aikoru. Trying to dance away through Aikoru. Going down. And that ball just eludes and goes away for a goal kick here to a king of kings. Well, I thought it would be a goal kick, but it's rather a throw in. Judging from where we currently standing from, referee has actually halted this. I don't know exactly what's going on. Why the seems there could have been uh, another ball on the pitch there. Chess ball inside the box line, flowed away. Sharon at the midfield level now, driving forward. That will be a foul. It's going to be a free kick. And uh, chance coming away. I'm just reminding you that uh, gentleman called Rogers Ayesiga is uh, also the a coach of Toro Queens Women Football Club, the Kings of Kings, an assistant coach, Toro Provis. He also does uh, own a club called the Toro Stars, which has an academy for both girls and boys. It does not stop at that. That is uh, Roger Ayesiga. He's been promoting the game perfectly well in the game. Well, could be a problem now here for Katusime Evelyn. She's on the ground trying to retrieve some medical attention there. Evelyn Katusime. He scored 28 goals when she was in the Omo Women Football Club before switching to Toro Queens Football Club, where she failed and joined the Kings, by the way. That's the play on the ground there. Such talent, very, very good talent there, Evelyn. Well, on the other side, the goalkeeper, Diana. Watching everything moving on here tonight. Head away. Sharon. With good energy, trying to begin the attack now. It's a run on the wing side, Rose Amanire, and very good timely tackle. Coming in from Jazz 7 Ruth Kanyinyuzi. Will be a throw in here to the King of Kings. Oh, 
And yet again, look at the time tackle. Very, very good tackle there. Good sweeping. Very, very good sweeping there from Ruth. Just 54 minutes of the game played. One for the King of Kings. Zero for Luero. It looks to be a corner. Still wondering what is going on, but uh, the referee wants a word with Amanire Rose and uh, Ruth Kanyunyuzi. It's warning them. Now we shall be at the, the corner to be brought in by Sharon. Long from Sharon. Headed away again by Lydia for another corner. Well, Evelyn Katusime is back on the pitch, so she'll be able to continue with this. Corner. Brought in again. Ooh, side netting. So in a way by Nakagua a while ago, but the Queens continue sorry the Kings continue to deliver. It's a bouncing ball swept by Rose. Sharon on the chest. Drives that ball back in the area. Aikoru there. And finally booted away by Indagire. And the flick is not a bad one, you have to admit, from uh, Muyomba. Kadusime. Nasuna. Away by Karo. Kobaibe. Touring head away. Good flicking ball through. Now here comes a chance for Sharon. And she's offside. Well, she's very hungry for more goals, Sharon. Wants to get those balls in. <laughs> Approaching the hour mark in just a few, four minutes' time. It's a cross. Teddy Achandi. Where to Zo. Teddy fell into control. Throw to King of Kings. Well, referee had actually played a fair play there, but uh, now giving away for a free kick. Karunji Diana possessing now. Now the chance is on, now here they come. Can they hold up? No, they can't. Well read there by Ruth. Swept away by Tambula. They need to be extremely very careful with the way they uh, clear the ball away. Dakire here. <laughs> Just fell in to get that ball back in play. Sandra and Dakire. She's been also an exceptional footballer here for Duero. Caro. Now Duero win themselves a throw. And this will be brought in by Kanyinyuzi Ruth. Looking to deliver forward. Controlled well there by Nakagua. Away by Ruth, repossessed there by Nasuna. Nasuna flowing forward. 
on the chassis zone for the King of Kings. Can they get something from here? And Evelyn Katusime does win a corner kick here to the King of Kings. Well, she's a little bit surprised. Looks like the referee has called for a goal kick there. She thought it was a corner. Aikoro away. Slight brush. Dagire. Teddy. And again defended well by Florence Kahibi. It's a long ball forward they're looking for Teddy. Just cannot be gotten. When you look at Luero today, really, uh, the passes have failed to connect. If you compare the way they played against uh, Dynamic, it's totally different from here. But now there's a run for Ndagire. Can she keep the ball on play? Yes, she does. But what can she do? Long cross, straight to the goalkeeper, who fumbles with that. And Teddy gives away a goal kick. Well, in the dynamic game, Teddy was very active with the ball, beating a markers, dodging and enjoying her football. Today, she has actually been squeezed perfectly. I think it is a strategy being used by the Luero, uh, sorry, by the King of Kings, really. Not giving but Teddy any room for the ball here. Thirty minutes to play for Luero zero, King of Kings one. Aikoru collected well here by Nakagua loses possession. Finally to Nasuna. Karusime now driving through. The nick was not good. Looking for Sharon. Well, they're fighting for the ball. Really, you can see the serious squeeze of the midfield here. Very many shots at that midfield. Now giving away. Namiyomba just cannot do anything further. But uh, very lucky that she gets a throw in here. Old Florence Dakagwa fouling. I don't know if he tries to win the ball, but uh, does not succeed on that. Olivia Nasuna. Geneva playing very well, but this is Nasuna. Chess from Geneva. Oh, well, Geneva will be going for a throw in here. Katusabe gives away that throw. And Ruth Kanyunyuzi will look to go slightly longer. The clock ticking. Oh, that's a handball. <laughs> Aikoru decides to handle the ball in the opposite box there. Nasuna. Katusime. Fighting his way, uh, her way through, but uh, gives away possession cheaply. Throw in. All the giants are currently being reduced by the Kings here. They have 27 minutes to play for. Lutuzo. Namuyomba on the far side looking for Lutuzo again. And Lutuzo just fails to keep hold of the ball. Goes away for a throw in. Oh, 
Teddy inside the box. Oh, does that go for a corner? Oh, it's a foul. Looks like the referee has wanted a corner. Well, really, that ball crossed the line. I didn't see that ball really crossing the line. Looks like the goalkeeper had kept that ball on play. But uh, the assistant had it uh, the other way around. Corner to Luero. Florence with a short one. Wait a moment. Okay, what went wrong? Some bit of uh, confusion. Yeah, I thought that the goalkeeper had actually kept that ball on play. The sooner. Click on into the zone. They are from uh, Nakagwa. Stolen away by Ruth. Away by Tambula. Sharo now. Trying to deliver that ball in the box line. It was a little bit heavy. Flag is up. Evelyn Katusime is offside. All right, so we shall be having a substitution right. And uh, it looks it will be the king of kings to make that substitution. Looks that uh, Katusime Evelyn is out. Well, Katusime Evelyn, it's not that she began her career very well with the king of kings. For a footballer that scored about 28 goals when she was playing for Omo. She's been replaced by Kawa. Kawa shall be playing uh, 23 minutes of the remainder. Slight push there. And coming in from Sharon herself. Another free kick now to Luero. Coming very closer to the box line. I don't know if Yukoru shall be the one to go for this free kick. Oh, wow, that's a very, very. <laughs> Very, very long wall, but uh, well, I don't know if it's the camera angle, but to me that looks to be too long <laughs> distance. But it's a freaky couple of yards away. Teddy Chandi. Well, this could be a chance for Chandi to get one. This is a Chandi. She's going for the top corner. The ball just goes over the bar yet again. She's totally been a different Teddy today. Twenty-two minutes remaining to play. Wasted ball from Teddy. And over the bar, went for a goal kick. Oh, 
Nyenyezi Sharon, Teddy trying to maneuver, and she fouls in the process there. Free kick now to the King of Kings. Ruth holds the ball thrill, trying to nick that ball forward. Dagire, she beats one. Dagire trying to go for the byline now. She overdoes it and could be winning a corner. It's a good play, very, very good play there from uh, Dagire. Wins a corner for her side. But even if we have not seen uh, Luero, Jens actually utilizing the set pieces for a goal. Dagire, it's a short one. Dagire again. Gives it away very cheaply, but the winner throw in. Sharon was the one that uh, came to the rescue here. Ruth throws. Foul it is. Dakire trying to dance away way through but again well read <laughs> very good piece of defensive work there from King of Kings unfortunately the referee did tap on that ball so it's the law Dagire looking for position for that to actually knock out Lydia Dagire jazzy number two oh, good skills good quick fit there can she continue and she gets a throw in there will be another substitution Caro will be the one getting out. She will be replaced by Jazzy 21. Let's we'll confirm on that a little later. Diana Karunji still keeping the clean sheet. And it will be her second clean sheet of the competition. Nasuna. Get away by Kahevi. Kristin. Namugeni. Collected on the far side by Namuyomba. Repossessed again by the Queen of Queens who are overdoing it. I'm very lucky that uh, Namuyomba was slightly far. This is Kristin. Nakagwa. Mialo. Aikuru. Dagire. Good play there from uh, Sharon. Just puts the ball out for a throw here to Luero. 
Like I told you before the first game played yesterday, we did see our King of Kings scoring an early goal, then held it until the 90 minutes and went on to win that game by one goal to zero. That was yesterday. They managed to beat Garford. Away by Ruth. Straight up to the goalkeeper, Karunji. Asuna. Ruth Nagewa repossessed at the midfield here by the King of Kings but trying to keep hold of that ball Nakagwa Foluero Ndagire utilizing the space well or oh, they love to call her Messi because of her height and her skills but well, I think that does not disappoint you've seen those skills there Very long ball. There's a brush here. And I'm very sure that if you're in Kampala, the weather has been very awkward today. It's uh, 1 p.m., but it looks as though it's uh, morning hours. But it's 1 p.m., really. Very chilly. Fourteen minutes remaining to play. King of Kings one Luero nil. Well, that will be going out for an offside. Thought it was a goal. But unfortunately, a Chandi Tate is offside. Well, she'll be very disappointed there. Flag went up. A Chandi got napping. Now, Luke will be going in for another substitution shortly. 13 minutes remaining to play for. And the subs continue to keep on coming. And this time it will be another change for the King of Kings. It's pressure here. Big pressure. Just only 13 minutes on the clock remaining to move. Uh, King of Kings still holding on to the lead. If they win here, they are definitely through to the next round of the competition. Well, Group A has been very tricky, really. Very, very difficult. We could be seeing a yellow card for time wasting. Actually, still very confused on who receives the yellow card because uh, you have two players there. Is it the goalkeeper or is it the defender? But it looks to be the goalkeeper receiving the yellow. Dagire trying to dance away through collected well by Dagire. Sorry, by Nakagwa rather. Tambula. Sharon Paul just hitting her on the fist there. He's failing to control the ball there, Sharon. Lydia fouling. Well, that's what they call welcome to the pitch. She has just come in. 
And that's her first touch. Oh, actually, that's not her first touch, rather. She has been in. Kanyingine Olivia has been in. The one who came in was jersey number 10. Not seen a lot of uh, Kawa, jersey number 16. Been quiet. Foul here for Luero. Away by Tambula. Ball is still in the same position almost as the chest here for Ndakire. Muscled away. Still fights for possession. I fails to get that. Sharon. Away goes Sharon. Away by Yukuru. Blasting that ball away for throwing here to the King of Kings now. interesting things that tomorrow we won't have any football tomorrow is a rest day that is Monday yellow card for Chararezi so Monday tomorrow no football the football returns on Tuesday where we have Luero Giants up against Asubo Carford ladies then uh, King of Kings will be ending it up with a dynamic Jaza on Tuesday Small possession here from uh, Luero, but they give away possession. Now it's a long ball forward looking to Sharon. Straight to the goalkeeper, Saida. Who has actually not been troubled in the second half. Away by Saida. They're looking for Teddy. Just can't get the rhythm of the game right now. The Luero side. Aikoru. Ooh, that's a very, very bad clearance there. And uh, down goes Luetuzo Regina. Got a kick on the face there from uh, Olives. But she didn't mean to do that. Even though the referee actually goes to and warns her for that. Well, eight minutes remaining to play for, just only eight. Well, the Elite League actually divided into different groups. There is Group A up to Group D. Well, this Group A having Luero, Giant Queens, who are playing right now alongside uh, King of Kings. Then you have a Sabo, Gafford Ladies, and finally Dynamic. That is Group A. Group B, do have Kataka, Shi, FC. Then you have the Rhines. You have uh, Bunyarukuru together with Townview SS. Now, those will be reporting on Friday, the 14th of May. And their games will get underway on Saturday, where Kataka takes on Bunyaruguru, as the Rhines SS takes on Townview SS. And also reminding you that Group C matches, the teams will, re will be reporting our uh, season uh, Wednesday on the 19th of May. And the teams in that group are very interesting. You have Ajax Queens, St. Peter's, Amuria High School and Vision Women Football Club. 
It is Group D that has Wakiso Hills, She Maroons, basically that is uh, the female side of the Maroons team. And there, Wakiso Hills and Lango Queens. All the finals of this competition will be played on the 3rd of June. And the quarterfinals will be played on the 29th of May. Semi-finals on the 1st of June. Throw coming up here for Luero. Six minutes to play for. Long ball by Achandi. And the referee says there was some bit of a foul there. So it's going to be a free kick now to a King of Kings. Namoyomba not seen a lot of her today. Even if she's tried very much to get something for herself, Namoyomba. Tambula clearing, but not very well. King of Kings continue. Away by, uh, that is Nakagua. But given away to Nasuna. It's a free kick now to the King of Kings here. Well, for King of Kings, currently playing with a one-man advantage because uh, for Luero, Luetuzo Regina is still getting medical attention and uh, I don't think if she'll be able to come back into this really. Four minutes to play. Four minutes to play. Sharon to go along. Now the substitution has been made. It looks like uh, the Tuzo Regina won't be able to continue this. Away by Sharon. Some bit of uh, infringement going on inside the box. And Rose Amanire was the player that was infringing. Well, looks like Ruth also does not know to throw the ball, so it will be a throw into the other side. King of Kings to receive the throw. It will be brought in quickly by Karunji. Drive up. Now this is Sharon to kill the game off. It's Sharon and that's it. Sharon Kanyikinya sends the King of Kings to the next round with a sweet composed finish. This is done.
totally done here and the king of kings will surely march along you can see the excitement on the face of Sharon she scored two for herself and trust me she's having a very good glorious career nice play nice play for a woman who scored 25 goals in the regionals down in Chitara is now scoring two here in Njeru King of Kings to Luero zero what a calm finish from Sharon sweet calm finish good delivery and look at the composure took her time took her time and slotted it home King of Kings to Luero nil well, surely there is no coming back in this one. Yes, it is clear. It takes a second to square goal. It means that uh, Luero have to square goal in every minute of play because two minutes have been added here. Just as you thought that the game was done and dusted. The danger lady, Sharon Kanyiginya, scoring her second goal of the, of the tournament and second goal of the day. Currently, she is top scorer with two goals. And they're looking for something. Teddy could not be gotten. And now pressure here for Luero. They came from two goals down. Again, it's dynamic. Now, can they come from two goals down? Again, it's the King of Kings today. Sandra Ndagir. AKA Messi not feeling very well there the clock ticking away totally ticking away here for Luero Namialo Lydia will be the one to stand on this one free kick for Namialo Free kick. Agency now. This is Namialo with the delivery inside the D. Punched away by the goalkeeper. And floored out for a corner. We're just waiting for the final whistle from the referee. The corner could be the last kick of the game. King of Kings, three points, victorious and marching to the next round. But let's wait and see what comes in from this. Lydia Namialo delivers the corner. Bubbles away and finally caught in away. And that's the final we saw. Luero victorious. Sorry, Luero not victorious today. It's the King of Kings victorious today. Winning Luero by 2 0. Luero had to fight yesterday. Two goals down against Dynamic to win that game by 3-2. It seems they used all their energies yesterday. And they've actually gone on to lose this game by 2-0 over to King and Kings. Sharon Kanyegina has been the lady of the moment. She's the one that actually has gifted the King of Kings the vital win today. Their final game will be tomorrow but one because tomorrow is a rest day so the final game will be tomorrow but one for the king of kings and also for luero can they still have a chance to qualify luero i do not know but the question remains what will be coming tomorrow but one in those final games so we're going for the break then john ban sentimu will be wrapping up this here on ubc don't go away <laughs> Experience a 100% 4G speeds across Uganda with the Airtel 4G Pocket Wi-Fi available at 123,000 shillings only. It comes with 15 GB free for one month. Visit the nearest Airtel shop, device selling shop or Airtel online shop. www.airtel.co.ug slash broadband dash discover. Airtel, the smartphone network. What does it mean to be closer together? It's taking the last bus home for a surprise visit. 
Closer together is strangers finding a connection. It's bringing home something much more than a box. It's the warmth of home or the beginning of something new. There's magic in sharing the things that we learn because it's those things that bring us close together. Presidential Initiative on Wealth and Job Creation, AMUGA, was launched by the President of Uganda, His Excellency Yoweri Kakuta Museveni, in August 2019. The Microfinance Support Center, together with other stakeholders, mobilized, sensitized, formed, and registered over 200,000 parish best savings associations under 6,344 AMUGA SACOs countrywide, reaching 4,114,200 individual beneficiaries. To debt, one 1,439,970 leaders of the parish best associations have been trained in business skills, group management, mindset change, and patriotism, while 42,707 Emyoga SACO leaders have been trained in effective management of the SACOs. The Microfinance Support Center has dispersed over 200 billion Uganda shillings to 6,344 constituency best Emyoga SACOs countrywide. Emyoga reaching out to the most in need of financial services. Well, looks like Ruth also does not know how to throw the ball, so it will be a throw into the other side. King of Kings to receive the throw. Off, it's Sharon, and that's it! Sharon Kanyiginya sends the King of Kings to the next round with a sweet compost finish. This is done. Totally done here. Got it. Yeah, the name is Sharon Kanyiginya. Write it somewhere. You'll need it, especially if you come from Port Porto City, because she has just qualified Kings of Kings to the quarterfinals of this year's FIFA, FUFA Women Elite League. And all those of you guys watching from Port Porto City, especially at 105.6 Jubilee Radio, you're doing a wonderful job. Thanks. We say thank you for being a part of uh, the UBC team that is watching this football. Welcome back from 90 Minutes of Football down at the Technical Center. I remind you, if you've just joined, it's the FUFA Women Elite League. It's the second tier football division of the FUFA Women in Uganda. My name is John Van Sentamo, but I'm joined by two colleagues down at the Technical Center who are meant to break this down for us in the next four minutes and we leave till we come back on Tuesday. Lawrence Mwanika and Shafiq Mutebi, Owabachala. Please, Ugandans are all ears. Thank you so much, uh, John Burns uh, Center Mo. Of course, it's full time at the Fata Clinical Center in Jero, uh, where are King of Kings. I uh, managed to beat Alwero uh, Giants Queens uh, by two goals to nil. The two goals coming in from Sean Kanyiginya. Of course, we just having her name on one of the top scorers in this FUFA Women Elite League. Uh, this is March day two, day two uh, of the fixture of the card. And yet on my side, I want to, of course, give you the two coaches the winning coach and of course the losing coach but of course let me begin with mr lugolobi edward head coach luero giants queens uh, to share a word or two with us in today's game where they have lost their second game of the day coach lugolobi edward ompida Otherwise, 
Sambi Muchi, Mpira Bulunji nyo, Iranze ni mmativu necheba Sambi. Katechi dako, kuwininga Mpira, kusemba yo kwa Gafodi, kweneka kasa, kompe ya linga timu jemvo kusama ne Gafodi. Timu ya Gafodi, habana vangu, habana kwa yusa determination, jeba ina, Gafodi tuja jii, tako tufunobo nero mkaga, tusoboloku so hita mchivinja. Atene hichu kuvide, chinku viza golo, namba binti, mm. luetu uso walwade, atenga luetu uso mumakati, mpaji nene, hichu na chochi tukose zamu ku last moment yao. Tawina mkondo oza anti Gafodi, ya saide singo kubani experience, mchine chivinja, mm. alijo gendo kubeda ngo, sembia yo, ando ozo mpila kuinzo kubeda ogwa pressure nyo. Jolly, Mukadenga team weedy, Ebadu Comedia Binueda, and one covered Dinga Mubu Debuno, a Sambi da Murigieno, H. Binja Chokubi. A Gafodi, by now a Sambia by inexperience, Nain Yakugamanti, Abati Chivagala to Bachimani, so in Jagala causes Samukisogo, a tenga when Tunurida, Amaniga, when Enga comparing and a kings of kings, in Tituso Volo Bate, Ako Pressa, Netuba winning. Trends that we have to coach. Kwa gali za mikisa meri mpilo gudako, a coach wa timu ya Luero, uh, Giants, Queens FC. Of course, that's the coach saying to Gafford, don't know what they want. Of course, it's a funny statement in football. Yet again, on the podium, uh, John Banz, allow me to bring to you the winning coach today by the names of Mr. Roger Ayesga, uh, the coach for Kings of Kings. And yet again, the same Gaffer who was in, who was in quotation, of course, to to go past the group stages in the Four Municipal League for the team Toro Queens, but again, things went the other way around. So, Coach Isga Rogers, first of all, how do you manage at, or to coach the two teams, Toro Queens, and of course, you're the coach of Kings of Kings before you go into go to the game? Uh, I must say, I'm lucky because. Uh Coaching the two teams is uh, is luck in coaching to find that you have two teams. But both teams are, are my own teams because King of Kings is supposed to be an academy to Toro Queens. So when we decided to register King of Kings in the regional league, the girls in the academy managed to qualify for elite league. This is how it happened. And as a school, they were saying they cannot allow me to go to, to take the girls to Njeru and when I'm not, I'm not present. You know the presence of a coach is very important in such a tournament. Mm. So as a school, the management decided that I should go with the girls and uh, be there to see how they perform. Back to the game of football today, your side winning 2-0 against Luero Giant Queens. How was this? Yes, we came to this game knowing it's a must-win situation for us because if we win today, we go to six points and that takes us through the group already, which is very good for us. We wanted to go to the last game without so much pressure. So I'm very sure after going through today, I'm going to, we're going to be playing better football in the last game because the girls will not be on any pressure. In the last game, you're playing against Dynamic Jeza and it will be the last game of the day. That will be the day after tomorrow. It will be Tuesday at noon. What do you make of that game? I feel we're going to win the game tomorrow because I've, I've looked at Dynamic playing, I've looked at their, strength, their strong points and their weaknesses as a team. And when you compare them to the strong points of our team and our weaknesses, they see us as victor, victorious in that game. Thank you. John Bond Sentamu, UBC, over to you. That has been the coach, Roger Zayesga, uh, for team Kings of Kings. Thank you very much, uh, Lawrence Bonica. And I really credit uh, the coaches uh, that are, man are running these teams down there, the Fortekin Kosena in Jeru. Because you listened to the Ruero coach, he lost honorably, and that is the value of sport. Five, five Olympic values that you need to learn when you're pursuing sport the joy of effort, respect, fair play, pursuit for excellence, and of course, balance between body, mind, and will. And the balance between body, mind, and will for me today tells me that we've come to the end of this production. It's the FUFA Women's Super Elite League that comes to you again on Tuesday. From me, John Burns, Centerman, the rest of the team in Kampala, including Eddie Moese, the guy in controls, and of course the guys that manage the cameras, Nasa Nasa, the guy of Magic 100 FM, Funtula Extra, is uh, here with me and manages whatever you see me look like. And of course, the engineer, Tamale, you are so good. I'm humbled by your desire to work. Passion and integrity will see you through. And of course, Fiona Naturinda, the engineer who made it in the morning, to come and be part of this show. Thanks very much. See you again on Tuesday.